SpaceX took a big leap forward with its ability to launch both crew and cargo missions from here in the state of Florida. Right now, it only has that ability from one launch pad that's here at Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. And the reason for that is because this particular pad has a support tower with a crew access arm that reaches out to the Dragon that sits atop the Falcon 9 rocket. But on Monday, they added a new crew access arm to the tower that was recently built at the launch pad over here at Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And sources tell Spaceflight now that that may come to use as soon as January for a crew mission. The landscape of the Cape continues to change as SpaceX's Pad 40 gained a new crew access arm. Teams hoisted the newest addition to this launch support tower as seen in this time-lapse video. They completed the task despite a fair amount of wind throughout the day. The arm is one of the last major pieces needed here before it can support Dragon missions, and it couldn't come at a better time. Sources tell Spaceflight now that Axiom Space is poised to use the new outfit to support its third private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. The AX-3 mission, led by former NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, is set to launch in mid-January. That crew mission is scheduled to lift off at about the same time as Intuitive Machine's first mission to the moon. The Nova Sea lander for the IM-1 mission needs to be fueled at the launch pad in the run-up to liftoff. It's a capability that currently is only available at Launch Complex 39A at KSC. So, in an ideal world, IM-1 would take the Kennedy pad and AX-3 would take the Cape pad. But all of that depends on if the tower at Space Launch Complex 40 can be completed in time. If not, sources tell Spaceflight now that AX-3 gets priority at Pad 39A and IM-1 would shuffle to another date. It's a tricky maneuver since IM-1 only has a handful of days each month during which it can launch to the moon. With a crew access arm now in place, SpaceX has a real shot to get both missions done in January and clear space for a busy schedule to the International Space Station in 2024. NASA and SpaceX have previously said that construction on this tower would wrap up by the end of this year. One of the last pieces that's still outstanding, though, is the emergency egress system. Think of it like a large zipline system that would allow both astronauts and support crew to quickly move away from the pad and the rocket in case of an emergency. Of course, we'll keep you posted on the development and the addition of that system as well. Reporting for Space Flight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.